Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Nez Porter. Friday afternoon, January the 15th. It's about 5 o'clock p.m. Just want to give you a look of uh, Washington Park. Right there would be where they have like a little shower in the um, in the summertime. And over there is like the uh, the swim pool. It's all drained out right now, but here's where they have like the recreational hall. I believe there's like a, two basketball courts inside. It used to be an ice skating ring over here. I think that's no longer an ice skating ring. There's something else inside there. As a matter of fact, I think that's where the basketball court is. To be, to be honest with you, I think when you go inside, if I'm not mistaken, if my memory serves me correctly, when you walk inside, yeah, you go to the left, that opens up into the um, basketball area. Let's take a quick look and see what we see over there. Those of y'all who are not familiar with this area, this is right on um, Martin Luther King Boulevard and Washington Street in Roxbury. And they got that kind of closed off now. Before that was opened up, so it has to be that has to be where the basketball court is because there's no other height, there's no other area that's high enough for the basketball court to be. So it's, it's definitely inside there. And just give you guys a quick look of around Washington Park Mall. You get the blue bikes over here. Looks like they're well stocked too. Only look like two or three are out, which is uh, pretty good. And the rest of this is um, it kind of wraps around to the Shelbourne Center, which is on the other side. And um, give a quick, give you guys a quick look on the side over there. You know, I would go to the pathway, but I want to show you this this corner as well. So the Shelbourne Center is that building over there with the um, with the three lights on it. I don't know if you can see on the wall there. That building is the Shelbourne Center itself. And uh, Court Hill Buy and Grill across the street there. Let's take a walk up the street the other way and see what we see. One thing that always concerned me about like people that fly the American flag at nighttime, like I was always told you're supposed to take it down before sundown. I could be wrong, but if you fly it at night, you should have a light shining on it at all times. Um, 
I could look that up, but I'm pretty sure that's that's the correct way it's supposed to be. I don't see any light shining on any of those flags. You see, the, like, there's a lot of stuff to the flag etiquette. It's supposed to respect it. It's not supposed to touch the ground. You're not supposed to burn it. A whole lot of stuff like that. But every everywhere I go, a lot of people fly these flags at nighttime. But there's no light shining on there. Um, I don't know. Maybe things are changing and people just don't respect the flag anymore. Um, but it is what it is. I, I, it's been a while. I, I used to work at a job. We have a whole list of flag etiquette and how to fold the flag, how to preserve the flag, a whole lot of stuff. And I don't see anyone, I don't mean, I mean anyone doing it. Maybe some military people might be doing it the right way, but I'm not a military person, but I, I see a lot of people like mistreating the flag. Yeah, um, every flag should be treated with respect. Whether you agree or disagree, you know, you should treat the flag with some kind of respect. Um, so I'll take a walk up here. Looks like they got some kind of activity going on in the park up here. See what we see. Quite a few people. I don't know if they have their mask on or not, but I'll put mine on just to be on the safe side. A lot of cars on both sides of the street, so something's definitely taking place. You see the Boston skyline over there. You can see the potential. And right, you can smell the smell of burning. Sounds like burning wood or burning charcoal for the mixture. I'm too sure what that is. Tango Echo basketball court they got a playground up above so it's, it's pretty pretty decent size and this is the um, Martin Luther King holiday weekend so there's going to be a lot of um, upcoming events throughout the weekend um, I'm probably going to try to get to at least two or three of them if I can because I 
It's going to be a busy weekend. Um, see how things play through. Just got to... Gotta check my schedule. So right now we're um Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and Walnut Ave. That's where these two intersections are. Take a walk around the whole park. I could, I could use a little exercise. That way is the, it's a school, I forget the name of that school. That's a school over there. This way. I guess I'll walk this way. It's kind of the lighting is not the greatest over here, so maybe a little. Let's we'll see how it comes out. A lot of people use this as a cut through. If you're coming from um, like Dale Street in Washington and you want to get to Walnut and say Humboldt, this would be like your, um, your cut through path. Or if you're coming from say Dale and Humboldt and you want to get to like Washington and um, Martin Luther King, those would be like your cut, cut through paths right there. Oh, any other way you want to go. As you see, it's a pretty, pretty open area. You know, you can have a, a family outing or something like that. You know, gather, gathering. Go out, stretch your legs or whatever you want to do, exercise. So many different things you can do in a park. Now this is like the back side of where I was just at not too long ago. So this is the uh, the foot trail that goes to the back side, of the, basically the center of the park. like flat dead in the center and you can see where the paths like intersect so depending on which way you want to go if you go to the right you're heading towards Dale Street go towards the left you're heading towards Martin Luther King we got a call box there 
don't know if you can see this. Something that says postponed. Some kind of community workshop was postponed. I figure I'll show you Washington Park for those who have not seen it or I should have came by here during the daytime you get better better view of it but They do have some light in, but I think a lot of it is um, shadowed by the trees, so it doesn't make it look like it's... You know what? These lights are not the greatest lights either. Those are the same lights that they put all throughout the city of Boston. They don't really cast a good... Um, they don't really cast a good light. Almost as if they got like a, the lowest setting possible. Now this is the baseball field, so if you ever want to play softball, that's where you go. And take a look at the pool while it's empty. I believe that's a 10. 10 foot deep pool. So this is the swimming pool over here. Um, like you guys can see it, but take a quick peek at it real quick. Um, it's empty, so drain the water because of the weather. You don't want that much water freezing up inside there. Could do more harm than good. I think I'll give you a little tour of our Washington Park. For those of you who have not been down here, some of y'all are familiar with this area. And that looks like that's about it. I noticed a lot of poles that probably used to have lights on them, don't have any lights on them at all. There's quite a few of them too. And those ones used to be the round um, globe type ones. The smaller ones anyway. The bigger ones, I'm not too sure what was on the bigger ones. Looks like that's about it guys. Until next time, Ms. Porter. Catch you on the next one.